obviously you've surpassed everybody's expectations and become a really good player. You're playing on an undervalued contract, as you know. Are you at peace with doing that this season? And have the Dolphins indicated to you or Drew whether they intend to give you uh, an offer long term that is more reflective of your value? Uh, yeah, we. Uh, that's really between my agent and Dolphins. Um, we're working together and just kind of see what we can do. Uh, but uh, really, my main focus is just playing there, playing as well as I can each year. So. Is this a place you want to be long term? I love Miami. I love it down here. Um, but uh, it's kind of, yeah. How is Miami compared to uh, Pickney, uh, Michigan? Big difference. A lot faster. Yeah, it's a lot faster. I, mean, I love my home. I um, love it down here. Uh, it's, just, it's just different. Um, so we love getting out, getting away every once in a while. Uh, but uh, we do love it down here. Zach, was staying out of stuff in the spring? just mostly you know watching was that contract related or injury related uh that's kind of between us and the dolphins again uh, my agent and then what we're doing there so so uh do do you have any injury now or have you been dealing with any injury i feel great okay. i'm out there playing great so play my best when you have a, a defense dominated day like today i think our count is at 12 sacks where you know i'm mm -hmm. sure you guys have a different would be sack ratio okay um what kind of statement does that make for for you guys uh, i think we're just trying to learn uh coach's new system and uh meshing as a defense is just part of the learning process and uh we make adjustments offense makes like adjustments and uh, that's how camp goes and as you do that we both sides get better and better each day when, when <laughs> It seems like the blitz packages, you talked about learning big blitz packages showed up today. Mm -hmm. You talked about learning big Fangio's defense. For a defensive lineman, how, how would you say the scheme benefits you guys? Uh, I think Coach does a really good job of tailoring his defense to the players that we have here. Um, I think everything we put in so far has been awesome. It's a learning process and kind of learning how to play with the guys next to us and learning how he's going to call it when he's going to call it different plays and yeah. meshing together. And, uh, Brad Bradley Chubb had mentioned that he kind of feels like a coach on the field uh, as, you know, he's been in this Vic Bangio mm -hmm. game and he's helping you guys find it. Um, you know, what has it been like learning from him and what makes him stand out as a player? Because we saw him with the orange jersey and he was, you know, getting yeah. in the backfield a lot too today. Oh, he's a great asset to have. Um, he's done a great job. Uh, it's, it's nice to have a guy that's been in it. Ask him, hey, you know, we, you could, coach will teach us one thing and it'll be exactly how it should be. But say, hey, how are you running this? What are you doing differently? Or what have you done having run this before in a game? What should we do or what should we look for? When a player like um, Jalen Ramsey gets injured, mm -hmm. how does that collectively impact your, from your perspective, sort of the, the mood of the group? And how, how, as a football player, knowing that injuries happen all the time, yeah. how, do you got, how do you and the group work through that? You know, it's really sad. Um, I'm praying for Jalen. Hope for the best for him. Um, hope we can get through it quickly. But uh, I think uh, Coach McDaniel had a good point where it's, you know, take this as a motivational piece and work for that. And hopefully when he gets back, we're in a good position. As a front seven guy, um, how much value do you put in good performances and bad performances in non-padded practices? I'm sorry, seven more time. When, when you guys aren't wearing yeah. pads, you, yeah. you're a front seven guy. Yes, sir. How much value do you put in your performances as, as a unit, uh, whether it's good or bad? Uh, Just as much. Yeah. Um, we're not letting off. We're not doing – yeah, some things would be a little different. You'll be able to see kind of like Omar was saying where, okay, yeah, it is it there, but how would have that you, – you see that stuff on tape, how it would have been different with pads on. Um, but we – just as quick, just as all the steps, all the hands, all that stuff, we're still working every day. Zach, I know you and Christian are pretty close off the field, and it seems like a lot of your guys' production comes from running games together. How does that relationship off the field translate to on-field production? Man, it's 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 been huge. Um, it's been a really blessing to be able to with uh, Clark, Raekwon, Christian, Emmanuel, um, just meshing. It's on and off the field, like you said. It's kind of like learning each other as a person, as a player, how to play next to him. Hey, what's Christian like? What's Raekwon like? Um, and that's something that been really nice with the guy like Chubb, learning how he plays and how to ad adapt to that, Phillips, all those guys. So um, it's been good. It's been an amazing system or amazing year to learn each other's and habits and how to play best off each other. Every time I talk to Coach Clark, he talks about how much he loves coaching you guys. I want to hear your perspective about how much fun you guys have playing for him. He's crazy. Uh, no, we love him. He's uh, He does an amazing job of pushing us and still respecting us as players. Um, he's, uh, he's done amazing, um, really hones in 
on the very technical things to help make sure we stay on top of our game and get better and improve every day.